Welcome to Old School Football. In this video, we hear about the audacious attempt by Swansea Jack's firm to take the home end of Millwall. Probably a very bad idea, but first match of the new season and obviously in very high spirits. Let's hear the story. Millwall fan John told us, I was in the cold blow lane. It was the first match of the season. Didn't think Swansea would turn up, but about 10 minutes into the game, about a hundred of them stormed into the CBL from the top and back of the stand, took us by complete surprise and caused a surge down to the front of the stand. Then everyone thought, hang on, we're fucking Millwall, we ain't having this. And everyone surged back up the CBL and attacked the Swansea mob who split under the attack. Some went back out the way they had come in and about 30 escaped to the front of the stand where they were surrounded and attacked from all sides. They fought back but eventually had to escape to the safety of the pitch, climbing the fence. But once there, another group of Millwall supporters then came over the Ilderton Road end barrier, and Swansea were attacked by this group of Millwall and so they climbed into the away end over the fence. A large group of Millwall converged at the away end and bricks and missiles were thrown back and forth throughout the game. Scuffles broke out as Millwall tried to enter the away end, over the fence but police stopped them mainly. After the match, Swansea got run all around the place. It was carnage, but fair play to them for having a go. Only seen three away mobs in the CBL, them Chelsea and West Ham, and all of them got battered for the sheer audacity of it all. Swansea Fanbrain told us, moved to South London in 1981 and travelled to most of our away matches during that period. I was working in the old Kent Road at the time, and this fixture was a real time bomb. I decided to go to this and go in the home end, the streets around the old den was patrolled by large Millwall mobs looking for it, but Swansea hadn't yet turned up so I think Millwall thought none were coming, got in the ground and was in the section behind the goal which was next to the away end. The old den was terraced and open three quarters where you could walk around the home end. Opposite me was the Millwall home end, the cold blow lane. I remember about ten minutes in there was a massive surge down the Millwall terrace at the other end of the ground. Around 100 Swansea attacked that terrace from the exit at the top and caught Millwall cold. Then there was massive surge up the terrace when the Swansea fans got split. Around 70 got chased after a brawl back out the exit, but 30 got down to the front of the terrace after brawl and climbed the fence and got on the pitch. There was two I remembered, a ginger head lad with long hair and a skinhead with a Union Jack t-shirt on who climbed into the earway end. The rest of the game was just missiles flying back and forth and got pretty nasty after the match. I saw running battles with a small police force totally unprepared. Swansea were more than holding their own, but it was getting really nasty so I filtered away thinking, bloody hell, what was those 100 thinking? I met with other Swansea fans later on and at least we had a go like was overheard. Whenever I talk to older Millwall fans and tell them I'm Swansea, they always bring it up. The only mob to take fac in liberties at the den is usually the gist of the conversation. I do believe that Swansea Jacks were mental really and very underestimated. We thank John and Brian for their recollections. It's clear that the Swansea Jacks did indeed invade the cold blow lane section of the ground, but seems like the repercussions of their actions was quite severe. These were crazy times though. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. Really helps our channel grow.